Hey guys, hope everybody is well and safe and healthy. Uh, this video, seeing what's going on right now in the times and all that, I uh, decided it's a good time to put a video out on personal hygiene and care on a construction site. It's a very dirty, dirty place to be. Uh, anybody who's actually worked on a site, you guys know how dirty it is. So th this video here, I'm gonna teach you some tricks to survive, okay? If you have any further suggestions or concerns, I wanna see them down in the comments. Um, to remember guys, just follow all your local guidelines especially right now uh, in times like this just follow all your local guidelines so I held a live stream on Sunday morning uh, with we talked with the community and uh, we asked you know uh, what their um, thoughts on proper hygiene on the construction site is and this is the what the community came up with is top priorities clothing is a is a top priority and you need to cover your uh, your skin so long sleeve shirts wearing wet dry clothing is awesome guys if you're not into wet dry clothing the under clothing uh, that keeps you dry uh, when you're sweating or it's amazing don't forget to log every injury no matter how small it is okay do a near miss report for every cut scrape whatever if you need to use a band-aid if you're bleeding and you need to use a band-aid uh, do a near miss report but always report every single injury make sure there's some sort of record on site you don't want to be a couple days on the road and have an infection and end up in the hospital and there's no record of that happening at work and WCB will not be able to help you guys so make sure you guys are, are re logging every injury no matter how small don't be a wimp especially now there's no time to be a wimp uh, make sure it's logged very important Cover your wounds immediately. You don't want the atmosphere, the air, the construction site, the dirt getting into your wounds. So cover them up immediately. I mean, but you, you do want them to bleed a little bit because you want the toxins to come out, but uh, you should cover them. You don't want more toxins to get in, right? Uh, keep uh, extra water on site. Keep a gallon of water in your toolbox, in your job box, in your car, your vehicle, whatever. Uh, bring extra water, no matter what. Um, then that way you have water to clean your wounds out if you if you need it um, and then of course fresh drinking water is always good to have or washing your hands with bring just bring a jug with tap water to wash your hands with uh, on site okay uh, that's that would be very handy very rare do we have running water on on a, on a site uh, especially with these new sites there's no water okay we're lucky if we get electricity even okay so uh, keep that in mind bring water and label all the water sources on site if it's good to drink, if it's good to wash uh, your hands with, label it. If it's not good, if it's non-potable or potable, okay? Uh, if it's non-potable, make sure you label all the water sources on site so that people know uh, what to what to and not to use. It's uh, it, That's important. If you're bringing bottles to site that are clear bottles with liquids in them, make sure they're labeled so people know what they are. And don't Go into the first aid kit. Uh, if you're bleeding, if, if you're bleeding, don't go into the first aid kit. Ask somebody else to get a bandaid for you. Don't be bleeding and over the kit and in 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 it. Okay, that's not very uh, hygienic. That's really gross. So um, ask somebody to get you a bandaid and and then get that injury that bandaid logged. Make sure you log that. No matter how small the cut is, whatever, log everything. Put it in your MMS report. Very important. Respirators. Anybody using respirators? Make sure you're uh, doing proper fit tests okay or getting fit tests done proper fit tests done uh, if your company uses respirators then they should be sending you to be fit tested anyway um, there's different sizes and they'll, they'll adjust it properly and they'll teach you train you on how to uh, wear your mask properly uh, no, no matter what mask you're wearing a dust mask or anything like that you want to make sure that the seal is proper you don't want to feel any air coming out uh, when you're breathing in and out of the mask uh, it's really hard to do with a beard um, but the mask that I use is the um, base camp sport mask and I've been using it on site now uh, insulating and uh, just for generally protecting my respiratory system uh, it's great I'll link it down in the description with an Amazon affiliate link uh, I highly suggest you guys check it out it's really comfortable it's a great mask and I absolutely love it and um, yeah it's really helped me out on site so and it's like and you can get ones with more filters and they're washable uh, yeah so just check it out I'll leave a link down in the description uh, so water bottles and coffee cups okay make sure the lids are closed uh, my good friend here on the channel gave me some excellent advice on Sunday uh, to put foil over the top of your coffee cup that way the dust that settles from the air and all that stuff it won't go 
uh, like in your lid and you're not drinking it, right? You're, that's a really cool idea. All my years in construction and I always just like bring a cloth or wipe the inside with my uh, inside of my shirt before I drink out of it. But this is uh, this, I'm gonna be using this all the time now. Uh, so cover that with some tinfoil and you're good to go. Uh, you don't be just drinking, letting things settle. Don't leave the water bottles open. Make sure the lids are all on. Uh, I suggest using refillable water bottles. These are the way to go in these in this day and age. Uh, there's no need for plastic bottles, really. Um, the, these are refillable ones are excellent. So get, get some of those. I got big ones, small ones. I, yeah, I got lots of those. Uh, you can even keep some uh, wet wipes with you, baby wipes even. Uh, wipe the toilet seat if you must, number two on site make sure you're wiping the toilet seat and cleaning that off that's just disgusting right having an extra roll of toilet paper is never a bad idea always check that there is toilet paper in the in the porta potty before you do a number two um just check because it sometimes it's it could be it's not there right uh, especially when it's close to being uh close to clean day uh, when you're peeing too uh, into the urinal, uh, watch for the spray back. Watch for spray back. Don't you know? Aim for the hole if there's no pucks, and if there's pucks, just you know, step back and and make sure you're just not getting that spray back from the urinal. It's really gross. Uh, overall, overall, guys, we just need to be more considerate of others. Uh, that's huge. Just clean up after yourself and don't be a lazy slob. Make sure all of your waste, or especially your food waste, and your coffee cups are properly disposed of when you're finished with them. Uh, don't be leaving coffee cups with little bits of coffee in them and like you they were on your mouth like there's just germs you're spreading germs uh so don't leave coffee cups and, and water bottles and food waste lying around get rid of it probably get it all in the in the bin guys uh that's just a huge huge thing and all this stuff too isn't just because of what's going on right now with the COVID-19 virus and like that it's just general construction best practice okay if, if we're all just doing what we're supposed to then the this is going to be very helpful this is good everybody should be doing this all the time anyways um there, like I was saying construction is really really dirty what we're exposed to is insane guys so help and be considerate of others so your immune system might be okay but somebody else's that it might not be okay so be think about that uh, keep the porta potties clean. The porta potties can get really, really nasty and disgusting. Just do your part and keep them clean. Uh, be like I say, just be responsible adults here. Uh, know that the prime contractor has to supply the site with adequate facilities, right? So washing facilities separate from the portable toilets, even uh, for sites with more than more than five workers, uh, there has to be separate washing facilities away from the toilets. Uh, it's important to know this, guys. Um, there must be at least one porta potty per 20 workers for each gender. Okay, so if there's 50 guys and one to 19 girls, it, you would need to have four of them. Okay, uh, report any uh, unsanitary or hazardous conditions to your superintendent. And if your superintendent doesn't listen to you, report them to OHNS. It's as uh, simple as that. Wash your clothes at the end of the day um, or have like a separate pair of coveralls to change in and out of. Keep extra clothes with you to change in and out of. Even after wearing all the protective gear, uh, the extra clothing, your body will accumulate a lot of dirt from a construction site. Uh, so you should always remember to clean your hands thoroughly before meals and personal hygiene needs. Uh, many cases of stomach issues and UTIs even uh, come from just dirty hands. Uh, also try dressing in tidy and all covering clothes clothes and even though it makes you sweat a bit uh, there's no sense in keeping uh, skin exposed when you are injured uh, seek first aid immediately uh, at the very least uh, cover the wound with a clean cloth at once the heavily dirty air in a construction site is ripe with microbes and chemicals uh, just a tiny bit of them in, is enough to infect any wound guys so no matter how small um, just in case it turns into something big always log it okay make sure you do something an incident report or near miss report just have it logged somehow breathe okay just don't forget to breathe uh, there's no shame in asking for help or instructions uh, if you don't know something just ask okay remember that to another thing to remember too guys if you're on any medications make sure to tell you the superintendent or your boss that uh, what you're taking if it if it will have any side effects that could affect your job just make sure to tell your boss um, that you're taking them just so that we that they know it's not going to get you into any trouble or anything like that. Uh, but if you don't tell them and something happens, then then you can get into trouble. If you're new to construction or you know someone who needs a job or a future, uh, be sure to watch and share my new series, Tips for New Construction Workers, uh, right here, guys. Uh, this is Chris. Bye for now. <laughs>